You know why I love thumb keyboard? The layout. As a thumb typer, I'm used to being able to make a quick movement and have the letter appear on screen. Uh, that doesn't happen with the, the original keyboard because I have to stretch to the middle to get certain letters and after a while it gets awkward having to go so far. Thumb keyboard splits the alphabet, or the QWERTY keyboard I should say, in a left half and a right half so all the letters are quickly within reach. I have numbers in the middle uh, and if I need to get a symbol I just long press and I'll have like a dollar sign when I long press on D. Uh, once text is entered, if I need to scroll up, down, left, or right, I have the direction pads, and I've got the common punctuation marks right here. Uh, if I need to get a comma, I just long press on the period, and that's made, made available there. Another great feature is auto-completion. Let's say I'm typing Andrew. I press A and D. Once I type the letter R, it says, hey, are you trying to say Andrew? If I press the space bar, Andrew is automatically entered. It also has auto correction, so if I'm typing A N S R E W, it says, oh, he meant to say Andrew. I press space and it corrects it to Andrew as well. Now, since, like I said, I'm used to having thumbs closer, having letters closer to my thumbs, this should t theoretically make me type faster, right? Well, let's put it to the test. Andrew is the smartest person in the room, okay? Andrew is the smartest person in the room. Well, of course. Wait, I'm also the only person in the room, so does that technically make me the dumbest person as well? Huh. This is what the keyboard looks like in portrait mode. You know, not bad, but what if I think this takes up too much or maybe not enough of the screen? What I can do is I can go to settings and I can change the height or the width according to what mode I'm in, portrait or landscape. So I tap on height of keyboard and I move this slider and I say, you know what, I want it to be only 47%. You know, that's a little ridiculous, but let's just use it as an example. When I press test keyboard height, you can see now my keyboard is much smaller. So if you've got small, delicate fingers, you know, you want, you only want your thumbs to be in this area, you can do that. You can change it to your heart's content and you can have a different height set for landscape. So when I put height on landscape, I say, you know what, I want that to be bigger. So I put 157 test keyboard, still small, portrait, switch to landscape mode, all of a sudden I've got this taking up the whole screen. Uh, you can change it to your heart's content like I said, but what if you also want to change the look? That's where themes come in. You may remember this as the default theme for the thumb keyboard. I want to change things around, so I go to settings and I click on theme, and from there I can change it to iPad, I don't know why I would want to. I can make it glass, gingerbread, or honeycomb city. I'll use honeycomb city as an example of like a big departure. So I'll go back to spring pad, click on this, and as you can see I've got a brand new keyboard look. This is a little distracting for me though, so let's try something a little more traditional. Go back to settings, theme, let's see what glass looks like. All right, this is a little more to my speed. I've still got the same functions, the same great keyboard. It just looks a tiny bit different, and you know, it's a, a little nicer on the eyes. That's one of the options you get with thumb keyboard, and there are many options to play with. That's why I think this is the best keyboard that you can get if you have a tablet. Uh, it also works on phones, so you know, if you've got a uh, Nexus One or something, you need a new keyboard, you can play around with it. But as far as tablet keyboards go, Thumb keyboard is my favorite option, and I think this is the one that you should get. Things could change in a few days, but hey, as of right now, I love thumb keyboard. It's available in the Android market right now for $1.88. And this is Andrew. I gotta go. The phone's ringing. Hello? Hello? Alright, what's up? Uh, I ate already.